ball class for you. It's going to be focused mostly on the thoracic spine, your upper back. Your thoracic spine is that space just below the bra strap to the base of the neck, about that, roughly that area, your upper back. Um, and we're just going to work on doing a few traditional Pilates exercises, but really focusing on rib cage mobility, upper back mobility as we go. So grab your ball. Here we go. We're going to start with uh, sitting towards the short end of the mat, feet forward, and taking the ball. And you want to find this kind of band just below the shoulder blades. And you're going to put that ball there and roll back onto it. Now you're on the ball. Actually, I'm rolling a bit more, taking a bit high up. So remember I said it was kind of the low, kind of the base of this part of the rib cage and the base of the neck. So I kind of want that ball behind me there. If it feels too painful or if it's not working for you, you know, experiment a bit. See if you can go a little further down. I don't like push, roll your body down so the ball's a bit higher to your head, but don't go too low so it's in your lower back area. We want to really mobilize the rib cage first. So we're going to hold the back of the head. I'm just going to gather up my hair here, cross the fingers, and create a hammock for the upper, for the head. And I'm going to let my ribs really open up. A nice big breath in, leaning back. And just relax the ribs on the exhale and breathing in. Now, if you're feeling like your head is hanging, if you have quite a rounded upper back, this might feel like a huge stretch. You could grab some books or a yoga block, but just place it under your head so you feel supported. Um, it's, it's okay to hang your head in the air. Use your hands to support your head a bit. But it, it's so nice to rest on something and then you can really relax into the stretch a bit more and let go. So we're going to stay here a little while longer. Take a big breath in. And see if you can breathe into your chest. This is almost what we do, flare in the ribs. You can see I'm kind of creating, you know, we always like, oh, flat stomach. But I'm creating, a, I'm pulling my abdominals, I'm stretching them long, so they're pulled flat. If I flare my ribs, and then when I exhale, I'm gonna relax the ribs down. I'm breathing in. I'm trying to really breathe into my chest area. And exhale. And let me see if I can relax a little more, get my head back a bit more. And exhale. One more time. And exhale. So now I've expanded my ribs. Now I'm going to see if I can bring them, kind of close the front. So I'm exhaling here, pulling the ribs down. I'm going to let my elbows fold forward and pull my head down. So it's not a proper upright curl, it's more of a stretch. And breathing in, lifting over the top. Go for that big arch of the back. And then exhale. Cradle the back of the head. Pull the waist in. Let the elbows go forward. And inhale, open. So I am trying to keep my shoulder blades low. Don't let them squeeze the neck. I'm pointing my elbows to the knees. I'm allowing the chin to come on the chest. Stretching the back of the neck as well, pushing into my hands with my head, open the arms, and one more time, exhale. Now we're going to come more into an organized uh, upper ab curl. So now as I lean back, I'm just coming to this position parallel with the ceiling. Wrap the shoulder blades or press the shoulder blades against the rib cage. So my elbows are going to point a bit forward. My arms are trying to be quite strong and firm. And then I'm going to exhale, pull the abs in, press my lower ribs towards the ball, trying to lift up, and then breathing in, coming back. And exhale. And when I'm doing this, Really with concentration and focus in this slow tempo, I often shake. So don't worry. That's part of the game. <laughs> Breathing in, exhale. 
and try and empty out all the air. Don't tuck the pelvis too much. See if you can lift your chest towards the legs and find your transverse abdominis pulling the abs down. Try a couple more. Inhale back and exhale. So often when our rib cage, our upper back is quite rigid, it's difficult for it to go in either direction, forward or back. So the upper ab curls are also a kind of stretch for the upper back. Inhale, just think of it as a stretch, not an ab exercise, it's a stretch. Now we're gonna stay here and I'm gonna exhale, lift the right leg. We're gonna just keep working with the abs, abdominals a bit more down, trying to stay steady on the ball. Two, exhale, three, and exhale, four, five, nice deep exhales. Try to feel the waist folds in. Now deep doesn't have to be slow. We can try to really push all the air out. Now I'm going to take one more right leg and then finish with the, the left leg up. And I'm going to pick up the right arm and put it behind the knee. And I'm going to try and pick myself up the ball. Come down 10 little pulses. Two, three, four, five. I'm regretting. I said 10, seven, eight, nine. Exhale, 10. Put the foot down, switch, grab behind the left knee. Oh, sorry, this is left hand, right knee, twist. Just make sure you're going the other way. Come off the ball a bit and down. I'm not really lifting off the ball. It's more like I'm trying to lift, deepening my abdominal contraction. And I say contraction, but we want to feel it pulls in. I'm not just hardening the muscles, clenching or gripping them. I'm drawing them, pulling, 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 pulling them together and down and four but not releasing all the way down and i think we have four three two and the last one oh. now we deserve a stretch reaching over the ball i'm just taking that nice stretch just feeling the difference we contract at the front of the body a bit of compression into the abdomen Oh, and now we're releasing it out. We can stretch the arms over the head. My head rests easily on the floor, so I'm not straining my neck at all. But if you can't uh, rest your head, I would just hold your head and stretch back here, open up. Now grab your legs and just roll yourself up. And we're gonna lie on the side. Don't you roll away. And we're just gonna put the ball under the ribs here. And then we really relax into the ball. And if you need more stability, you can just keep this hand on the floor. But if you uh, have a bit more control, you can have the hand behind the head. We're just going to roll forward and roll back. This feels so good. It's just a very gentle oblique motion. When I roll forward, there's a bit of twist happening, turning my chest to the floor. And I'm really guiding from this elbow. This elbow is pushing the mat to help press me forward. And coming up and forward. And coming up and exhale forward. And just one more time. I find it interesting sometimes even doing these very gentle rotations, very gentle movements. I get sometimes a little back adjustment. I don't look for it, but if it happens, bonus. And, up. and then just come up to sitting. It's nice to do a little uh, moment of recognizing a bit of the change in the body. Even I, I can breathe. It's good to do this, take this moment before you do the exercise. Take a moment to do your rib cage breathing. Now, because I brought awareness, I was focusing here and I'm, I can feel I get a bit more space. And I breathe into my left rib cage here. Nice. So let's see. And you can just compare before we go. You can just see the 
right rib cage, even shifting right and left, I go a bit more, just a little more pulling when I go to that side, and it's a bit more free to the left, a bit more pulling to the right. So let's uh, take that ball on the other side. We're going to place it under the rib cage here. And just take a moment to just release into it. So my ribs would be shifting that way towards the floor. And just taking a moment to just sink sideways onto the ball. So this elbow might move away from you a bit more. And then use the hand if you feel really wobbly here. Just come on your fingers. You can press from your hand or the elbow just to rock forward and back. I think this feels nice for me. Forward and back. So very small movements. And then just exhaling forward. Leaning here in the back. Exhaling forward. Let this space out a little bit as I do this. <laughs> Get a little dreamy. Ah. It's just nice to feel and not think for a little while. And back. And forward. And one more back. And forward. And then coming in the middle, and just press yourself up. And just take a moment and just rest the ball on your lap. And just hopefully you can feel now you can breathe a little easier into both sides. I feel a bit more equal. I hope you do too. And it's also nice to move the shoulders, move the shoulder blades, because there's a little bit of opening of the shoulder blades there. It feels nice. And back. Now we're going to, because we freed up the rib cage a bit, now we're going to work a bit on the rib cage stability. So you're going to come on your back. Just put the ball between the knees just as a placeholder. Uh, reach your, I'm trying to think, let's hold the ribs first. So one hand to the ceiling, put the other arm around the rib cage. Now stretch your arm over your head towards the floor. And just feel if your ribs push up into this hand. And then see if you have this space, this big space between your back and the floor. And then bring the arm down. And do that a few times just to notice what's happening with the rib cage. So this is taking a bit more of the rib. If the shoulder doesn't have the mobility, it pulls the rib cage along for the ride into this hollow back position. So try the other side. And then you're going to reach and maybe notice if it's rocking. And you just want to notice what happens when we do the movement. And not uh, say good or bad, but just say, oh, my arm gets pulls my ribs up, the bottom ribs up when it lifts. So now, let's see if we can move the arm. I don't want you to squeeze your shoulder down with your waist, but let your shoulder blade follow your arm. See how far it can go. And can you keep your ribs resting on the floor as you go up? And then bring the hand back. And keeping the ribs still. So I'm not locking down my ribs. I'm just using my hand, to, my arm here to add a bit of weight. And I'm letting the shoulder blade go with the arm as the arm moves overhead. And then as the arm comes down, the shoulder blade also comes along for the ride. And you can see my shoulder blade here. It's going to go a little forward and then it's tilting, tilting, tilting this way. And then it's going to swing back onto the back. So it is moving a bit under and forward. My arm reaches up. Now, if you're not used to moving in this range, you might get a bit stuck or feel you don't have the muscle control there. Yet. Yet. And then it just takes a bit of time. And then you're reaching back. And up. And reaching back. Switch sides, left arm across the rib cage, or just the other side. And see if you can use the weight of your arm and not tilt and arch your back away from the floor to lift your arm. Can you move your arm? Can you move your shoulder blade? You're also moving your collarbone. 
They're all coming along for the ride. And then the shoulder falls down, the arm comes back. Now this arm has a little bit of sticky spots with it, so I like to breathe a little. Tell the muscles to release a bit more. And I just notice I've been working on when I come up this way. I'm so used to feeling tension that I go, oh, I gotta push through this tension. But I take them instead. I'm trying something different. Instead of pushing through the tension, I'm gonna just take a breath and see if I can keep that ease. Like, why do I need this tension? Is it me? Like, does the tension have to happen? And I just move the arm. And that just creates a little less friction here, a little more ease. A little deeper breath there. I don't have to wiggle or adjust. Just tell my protective mechanisms it's okay. I can stand down. And sometimes pain is just protective. It's not that we have any tissue damage, but it's just trying to protect us from injuring ourselves more. And now I can just take a deep breath and say, let's just go easily into it. And I'm getting a lot. I'm getting further than I did before, a bit more range, without so much pushback from my nervous system. And just one more time, reaching up. Now just grab the ball, let's try two arms. So just this motion of moving the shoulder blades. I know I said thoracic mobility, and we're keeping the rib cage down. These muscles also connect into the rib cage, onto the rib cage. So they're going to help if they're nice and supple, active. They don't need to be tight, but just we're looking for the right amount of muscle tone, that they're not slack all the time or tight all the time, but they're responsive. They're ready to work when we want them to. And just use your exhale to try to keep this part of the rib cage into the floor as you slide your shoulders up your sides and then let them pull down. Let's try two more. Now if you have a lot of shoulder blade mobility, like this is going very smoothly, the next level, deep breath, <laughs> would be to print your lower back on the floor and maybe put your head up on a block so you're a little rounded in your upper back and then the shoulders have to reach, 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 reach back behind you more. And then down. I don't want to run get a block, so I'm just going to be a bit in this upper ab curl feeling with my back printed, totally flat. So my pelvis is tucked. My ribs, front ribs are now pointing down. My abs have to stay active. So if I shake a little, just in my voice, forgive me. Reaching back, back, back. And that's harder, more challenging to my shoulder flexibility. Deep exhale. And I reach it back, reach it back, reach it back. Not super pretty. I'm sure my neck is straining quite a bit, but that's okay. The neck has to get stronger too. And then let's roll it down. Ooh. Roll side to side, release the neck muscles. Now we're going to roll up and then come onto the stomach. So we're going to place the ball under, kind of at the breastbone area here. So let's move that mic up so I don't hear squitchy noises. Um, I have to say that this might be tricky for women with big breasts. I don't have that experience. <laughs> so I, you know, bear with me. I hope you can make it work for yourself. But if it's not accessible to you, don't worry. There are lots of other exercises that might work better for your body. It's not you, it's the exercise. So I'm having it, trying to get this ball under my breastbone, and I'm going to relax and just let my back drape over the ball. I'm imagining I'm a, if I was a piece of cloth just lying over the ball, and my lower half is quite relaxed here. And I'm going to breathe in through my upper back. I'm pulling my waist long. I'm going to push the ball with my chest. And then I'm going to pull the ball of my chest back towards me and push away. I'm not trying to go up. I'm trying to stay down. 
and press the ball forward, forward. And my shoulder blades are not squeezing together, but pressing down my sides, kind of towards my elbows, pushing into the floor. And then releasing, stretching those muscles I just used, rounding the back. Breathe in. I'm going to stay a little while, so I'm going to exhale, pull my waist long, breathe in, and then exhale, bring it back. So we're doing just a little baby swan exercise, but we want to try to find, it's, I've really enjoyed finding that play between release and active. I love this term, active release or active relaxation. So I'm not totally slack. I'm still kind of organizing my body, I'm not just like collapsing. I'm seeing if I can let go of my upper back, keep my arms there. Exhaling, inhaling, trying to feel that pull down of my shoulder blades into my side ribs, my chest pushing forward, my head up. Just watch for this, a little too much uh, neck, back of neck, and then release that one down. Let's try two more. Push the ball, open the hips, front hips a bit more, and then come back. Let's take one more. I reach the ball forward. I'm sorry, my knee's killing. I'm gonna put the ball behind my knee because my left knee is not talk talking, working so well these days. So just needs a little bit of love. I can't do a child's pose. I'm so advanced, I can't do a child's pose. Oh well. Next week, I can't do a child's pose yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm just stretching out. Yeah, it's coming up. Nice. So that's your thoracic release, upper back release. And just take a moment to notice, let's come back to this position and just rest the arms. Take a big breath in. And just notice you might be able to access more space in your back, more space under the armpits, more space in general for the lungs to expand up into your rib cage and let it go. Just one more time. And release. Great, thanks.